Hello students, myself Narayan Sore. Today, in this session, we will discuss control and coordination in plants. Okay? Like animals, plants also having control and coordination in their body. Okay? Yes, means, see, they do not possess or they do not have nervous system. Like in animal's body, animal's body, uh, that control and coordination, yes, it is performed and it is controlled by the nervous system. Okay, but then also in plants, that nervous system is not present, then also they can feel or they can detect, yes, or they respond and react to the internal changes also and external changes also. Suppose like that plants detect light, plants detect water, plants detect that chemical, plants detect touch, okay. So like white changes, yes, they found in the environmental, they can respond and react, okay. But how plants that respond and react, yes, they do not possess nervous system, but plant uses, plant uses hormones, plant uses hormones for their control and coordination. Plant uses hormones for the control and the coordination. Now see here, in plant's body, we will see two types of movement, okay, that is one is growth dependent movement and one is growth independent movement. So see here, plant's movements can be of two types, that is first one is the tropic movement, which we also call as the tropism and second one is the nastic movements, that we also call as the nastics, okay, yes, so what is mean by tropic movement? See, tropic movement, yes, it is nothing but a growth, a response that results in the movement, okay? The growth, a growth, a response that results in the movement of plant parts towards, yes, it is towards or away from the stimuli. Towards and away from the stimuli, okay? So, that is called as the tropism. And this tropism or the tropic movement, Yes, as a result of that, yes, plants take water inside the plant body. Plants also take nutrients inside the plant body at the utilization area. Now see here, a positive tropism. Positive tropism means the plant movement or the growth of the plant towards stimuli. Yes, it is towards stimuli. Okay, that we call as the positive tropism. Okay, and the negative tropism means it is away from, it is away from stimuli. So that we call as the negative tropism. That we call as the negative tropism. Positive means towards stimuli and negative means away from the stimuli. Yes, the growth response that results in the movement of plant parts towards stimuli that is the positive tropism and away from the stimuli that we call as the negative tropism. Okay. So, in plants, yes, there are types of tropism that we see. Yes, in that types, that is first one is the phototropism. Phototropism means they are sensitive for the light. They are sensitive for the light. Means, again the same definition, a growth response that results in the movement of plant parts towards, yes, towards the light, towards the light. For example, see sunflower, yes, sun, sunflower always it is showing face towards the sunlight, okay, yes, suppose take example of any uh, that particular plants, they showing the bending towards the light, okay, so these two examples that for the phototropism, okay, suppose take example of the growth of shoot, yes, it is a towards the stimuli. Yes, it is a phototropism. That is the positive phototropism. And negative phototropism is the, the growth or the movement of roots. Yes, it is away from the stimuli. That is the light. So, that is the negative phototropism. That is the negative phototropism. Okay. Then, geotropism. Yes, geotropism means it is sensitive towards the gravity. It is sensitive towards the gravity. Yes. The movement or the growth of the plant parts, yes, towards the gravity, towards the gravity. That we call as the geotropism. 
Suppose take example of the growth of roots. Yes, it is a it is a positive geotropism, and the growth of the shoot it is the negative phototropism because it is away from the gravity. Then hydrotropism, it is sensitive for the water. It is sensitive for the water means or water or here will add a moisture. Okay, so that is the hydrotropism means the movement or the growth of the plant parts towards the water or the moisture. Suppose take example of growth of the roots towards the water or the moisture. Okay, to take inside the plant body. Then chemotropism. Chemotropism means see it is sensitive for the chemicals. It, it is sensitive for the chemicals. Suppose take example of that in pollen tube. Okay, that in pollen tube. Suppose this one is the stigma when pollen grains yes reach here. Then that touch they forms a a pollen tube towards the towards the ovule. Okay, so this one is the style and this one is the stigma. Okay, so they form a pollen tube that is the sensitive for the chemicals. So this movement or the growth of the pollen tube towards the ovule, yes, that we it is one example of the chemotropism. Yes, it is the example of the chemotropism. Then fifth one is the thigmotropism. Yes, it is sensitive for the touch. Yes, it is sensitive for the touch. Suppose take example of any plants. Yes, they showing the wrapping around the any obstacles. Okay, and they showing the growth according to that. Okay, so that is the thigmotropism that we found in the plants. Okay, then see the second type that is the elastic movements or the plastics. Okay, so it is complete vice versa for the tropic movements. See here, plastic movements or the plastics are the the movement of a plant part in response to an external stimulus when the direction when the direction of the response is not based on the direction of the stimulus. Okay, it is not based on the direction of the stimulus. Suppose here the base example is touch me not plant. Touch me not plant. Yes, it is also called as the Mimosa pudica. Okay, when we touch the leaves of this Mimosa pudica, yes, it will close. Okay, yes, and this touch, yes, and this suppose stimuli and the movement of the plant parts, yes, it is not based and the direction response is not based on the direction of the stimulus. Okay, take one more example that is dandelion flower. The dandelion flower that opening and closing, that opening and closing, yes, it is, yes, it is due to the light, presence of light. But that opening and closing, it is not based on the direction of the stimulus. Okay, yes. So such movement that we find in the plant, yes, in some plant or the flower, so such movements are called as the nastis. Movement or that we also call as the nastis. Okay, so this is we discuss today that is tropic movements or the tropism and nastic movement that is the nastis. Okay, if you like today's session, please like, subscribe, and share.